Recently, we did a video showing you how RTX performance, although beautiful, is a little bit lackluster, even in 1080p. Today, we're gonna to show you how far the latest DICE patch has actually improved things, which could look kind of promising for the future. All right, so this is the exact same portion of the campaign, the French portion, I believe, the French part of the campaign, uh, where we showed you that even in 1080p with uh, DRX on, and DX12, obviously those, those have to go together, uh, we showed you that I was actually dropping down with Ultra all the way into the mid to low 30s at 1080p. So let's go ahead and compare. It's the exact same graphics card as I mentioned. This is the Unicorn 2080 Ti Strix from Asus, which apparently has still not made it onto shelves. This is the 2080 version right there. I might have said 1080, I don't recall. Anyway, RTX 2080 Ti. And uh, so this is the same part, if you recall, that I showed you, that's a friendly word. You can see the reflection of the truck, how that truck is now obscured from view and you can still see it. What sort of happens here, and I know I mentioned this in the last video, but in case you haven't watched it, I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you again real quick what RTX is and why this is the future. Now listen to me. I know a lot of you are like, RTX, no one cares, no one cares, no one cares. Here's the bottom line. All the cards are selling out. RTX is, uh, it's the future. It's the same thing people said about um, shaders. No one needs shadows. No one cares about shadows or any of that stuff. Well, guess what? You've come to accept it and that's now the way we game. This is probably gonna take some time to mature, obviously. But what happens here is the reason why you can still see the reflection right there is because ray tracing is looking at reflections and basically rendering anything that is out of scene. What basically could have happened right here, if we're looking at standard screen space, which basically just takes an image, flips it upside down in the reflection to give you a bit of a reflection, once the truck blocks that view, you can no longer see it here. And in the previous video, we'll show, you saw that there was kind of a blue box that sort of appeared and was, was sort of blended into the scene. Things that are not in scene don't need to be rendered because it's useless information. The reason why RTX gives you such a performance hit is because now it's rendering not only everything that you can see, anything that is in line of sight of reflections. Now, as you can see in 1080p right now in Ultra, we are sitting at 80 FPS. Previously, we were sitting at 60, which was just, Okay, I guess, but for a $1,200 graphics card, or in this case, like 1,300 or whatever it is, that is certainly not something to write home about. In fact, it's a little disappointing or downright depressing to be like, I've got a $1,200 graphics card that in 1080p can only give me 60 FPS or on top of this hill, 30. Now, Phil can do a side-by-side -side here so you can sort of see and compare this particular scene. Sure, they're not exact, and I've got to kind of take care of these fascists real quick, hold on. So yeah, it's not a direct side-by-side, -side, but you can kind of compare that, uh, you know, we're not getting 30 FPS, we're now getting 75 at 1080p with everything on Ultra. What they've also kind of done too, is they've lessened the gap between Ultra and Low. Because remember what we showed you in that last video is if we went to Low, then we saw a significant increase in performance, but that's actually not the case this time. We just went from 75 to 78 or 80 or 83. Right? It's not massive. I mean, 10 FPS at, at this particular you know, resolution is significant, but it's nothing like it was before where we were seeing massive improvements. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Ultra. And like I said, 75 FPS, pretty damn nice. Now, now that we're seeing this type of performance, I kind of wanted to test what happens with 1440p or even 4K, because Nvidia made the claim that in 1440p, you can get 60 FPS. Okay, so we're in 1440, 60, again, ultra. And as you can see, we are now getting, this guy needs to just get out of there. Okay, uh, get him, there. So as you can see now, we're getting 65 FPS, 64. Well, of course, if I look straight down, look at that, 75, 36. So we're definitely, at least in this particular scene right here, I had already given up in the last video at this particular part of the campaign when I was playing it, uh, for the testing of RTX because of the fact that it was pretty much unplayable and I'm dead. We were only seeing 30s here 
Now you can see we've upped the resolution an entire level and are getting twice the FPS we were at 1080p. So there's clearly been some uh, maturity when it comes to RTX. The thing that's still disappointing, and we're gonna go ahead and go and check multiplayer now. The thing that is extremely disappointing is the fact that there is still no SLI support. This would be a perfect opportunity for uh, RTX and SLI to get really good performance. Yes, at a cost of you know twenty five hundred dollars. I'm a well, I'm well aware of how expensive this card is. Trust me. But at the same time, it's like. There are people out there like myself who really get their jimmies rustled in a good way when it comes to this level of, of detail. I know, how, I know how this game type works. I don't need you to tell me. All right, so here we are in multiplayer. 32 players seeing a... Um, let's deploy. 90 FPS. Remember, this is 1440. I went straight to 1440. I don't, we don't know exactly what they changed. They just said up to 50% performance improvement with RTX uh, with the latest patch and driver, which is clearly what we're seeing. They kind of copped out on the running water though, because I mean, it makes sense. It's not smooth. So of course the reflections aren't gonna be really there. I'm sorry, but if you're a graphics nerd like I am, this game, all battlefields have been great, but this one's specifically. Okay, well, I mean, I'm 1440p. Everything's maxed out settings wise, including DRX. What is? Okay, that gun sucks. It's all... all right, so here's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go ahead and put uh, the 2080 in because NVIDIA and DICE are saying that with the latest drivers and such, you can actually get, uh, with DXR on, you can get 60 FPS, I have to leave it. You can get 60 FPS in 1080p, which again, as you saw, we couldn't do with the 2080 Ti before. And the 2080 Ti was advertised as having enough improvement to give you 60 FPS in 1440 with all features enabled. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna throw in my 2080 and see if we're getting those advertised claims. Considering what we just saw right now with the 2080 Ti, I think it's pretty obvious that we're gonna, probably gonna get at least 60 FPS with this. Okay, so I know this is not the same map that we just played, but it is uh, Rotterdam, which is a map that's pretty hard on performance. A lot of people complain about Rotterdam being terrible. Now, as you can see, we're getting 60 FPS, 61, 60. Now they did, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 they did claim 60 FPS with settings on, I believe a high is what it was. And Phil can annotate if I'm wrong, but I believe it said 60 FPS. I'm um, suddenly in a big piece of combat here. So as you can see, we got fire going here. We got some reflections. I've got me being killed, sitting in the upper 50s, low 60s with a non overclocked RTX 2080. Something else I should have probably pointed out earlier in this video is these cards are not overclocked. These are out of the box settings. And here's a spoiler alert for you guys in terms of performance. The 60 FPS you're seeing right now with the 2080 is at 1440 Ultra. So we are obviously going to exceed in 1080p the 60 FPS promise with uh, DXR turned on. Okay, so in conclusion, a 2080 at 1440 is certainly playable in Battlefield 5 with uh, RTX on or DXR on. Low obviously gave us about 10 more FPS. Ultra was clearly playable in a map like Rotterdam where everyone complains. But here's a takeaway at the end of the day. In the last video, a lot of people seem to get upset that I said I like RTX. I think it's cool. I thought the same thing when rasterization came out. This is a personal belief of mine. If you don't agree with me, that's perfectly fine. This is not the card for you. You can go out and get yourself a card that's not RTX based and have a great gaming experience. Although I'd recommend you do it soon because Pascal's not being made anymore. And because of the price of RTX, people ran out and bought up Pascal cards as fast as they could find them. So if you can get your hands on one, great. Otherwise you're gonna be stuck with you know 20 series anyway. We're not testing 2070 because I still don't think that card has enough performance to truly give us the figures that we want and the performance that we want at the price that it still costs. I also didn't test it because I forgot it at home. I, I remember I did my review there and it's still sitting there, but that's besides the point. I digress. Look, rasterization when it first came out took two or three, remember there was the, the 256 from NVIDIA, the NVIDIA 256 card, which was the first rasterization card. And then there was the GeForce 2, which then was like an improvement on that. And we saw really good performance. And then we saw the next family of cards where it really became playable. Um, it looks like things are moving faster with RTX, which is a good thing. I don't think anyone can truly complain about that. I have, again, I have no idea what they changed to make performance better, but clearly it is better. And uh, it, you know, if a $1,200 graphics card to give you, you know, 1440 FPS or 1440 DXR and Ultra at 60 FPS isn't your thing, I can't say I blame you. That's a lot of money to buy into the new tech, but it's only going to improve from here. And I'm glad to see that it's happening much more quickly than we thought it was. We're still waiting on other titles. 
because right now this is a single title, title graphics card if you want to be technical about it. And I personally play it with SLI and DX11. I don't even run RTX when I'm playing this game. So anyway, do with it what you will. I don't really care. I just wanted to share the performance with you guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the battlefield. Battlefield 5 with RTX. Now mostly playable. Anyway, do with it what you... That is a po... Is a po... The ba it's, it's a posa. We were seeing like 30 FPS. FPS. We're now going to do a video about how much our... We're, so today, so we're gonna do, so, <laughs> it's, it's painful. Subscribe.